until you register it, and then that, then it'll be, then it'll be safe, then nobody can steal it. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Guess what I am? It's um, quarter to eight in the morning, and I'm working in St Andrews today. Got here a bit early because of the traffic. I thought the traffic was going to be busy, but it's actually okay. But uh, old course looks quite flooded. And there's a the smoking bridge. So it's a bit flooded today. Looks like there's people still playing though. I've come the long way around just so I can walk past the 18th light walking up here in the mornings. It's lovely. never seen this plaque before, this is here for Tom Morris. Now look, he died on the 24th of May shortly after a tragic fall in this clubhouse. Oh, didn't know that. Sixteen forty two. folks hey everybody good morning good morning and look look we've got a blue sky and we've got sunshine we do this time last week there was snow and ice and winds and floods and today we're back to normal yes anyway today I've come back yes I've come back one more time to St. Silas. Oh look, there's a rogue whaley boot. Whose boot is that? Uh, come back to St. Silas because I didn't make it to the waterfall last time because the tide was coming in. So I'm gonna time it hopefully today. The tide's going out and there should be a lot of water on the waterfall because of all the snow that's melted and all the floods and rain. So fingers crossed folks. That's my first stop for today. Now, I don't have the mic on today, folks. You might get a little bit of wind noise and a little bit of kind of rattling from the mic, the usual, so I do apologise for that. Um, let's do the normal head count. We've got one, two, there's about three people on the beach today. Three. I'll let them off, it's such a nice day, and people will be out today because it's the first nice day 
for a while so we'll let them off now you can see the waterfall the tide is still a wee bit in but it looks like there's a lot of water on the waterfall so let's hope we can uh, get there folks it's about a half an hour walk down to the falls so I'll check in with you when I get down there now up there folks that's where we normally park the car there's the path that goes up looks like there's been some kind of rock fall or mudslide and that wee bit there put some netting up Right, I am slowly getting there folks. I don't know if you can see the uh, the falls behind me, but the tide is slowly going out, I think. <laughs> well, I hope it is. Um, so I might have to wait another half an hour just to kind of get over there, but it's looking good folks so far. Now this is the problem we normally have, is getting through this water uh, across the rocks and over. So it's always a bit of a challenge, so bear with me folks, I will try and get there. So there's folks, we've made it to St Silas Falls again. See how close uh, we can get. So I'm going to try and get to the Cams of Mather, which is up there, but I'm going to try and get underneath it. But there's too much of a I drove it to cross folks, I don't think I'm going to get a cross. Which is a pity, never mind. Let me go down a bit and see, but it looks like it's the same all the way down. Oh well. Side of the waterfall, but it's a bit steep. Um, yeah, don't think I risk it, folks. It's a bit slidey. Folks, I've just brought some binoculars with me, just in case the whale is out and about. You just never know. Oh, there's a wasp. A wasp. My goodness. Anyway, I'm going to do some whale watching, folks. Okay, thanks for watching today, folks. It's been a glorious day here on the East Coast. Um, we'll see you at the weekend. Thanks for watching.